The following review has been approved by Lord Carnage and the best of Classic Game Room. If you're not shielded, stay in your Fuchikoma. Everyone up top. Back in 1997, when I heard that one of my favorite comic books and movies was being made into a video game, I waited in line to buy it. And there may have been one, one or two people in front of me buying something else, but I bought the game, Ghost in the Shell, and it remains one of my favorite original PlayStation games to date. And it's always a pleasure to find out that your save game data on a memory card from 13 or 14 years earlier still works. The Ghost in the Shell manga or comic book was originally created by Masamune Shiro, the legendary artist, also known for other works like Appleseed. Stylistically, this game has more in common with the 1995 film directed by Mamoru Oshii. And if you haven't read or seen the movie, do it now, it's it's awesome. Well, watch this review first, then go read the book and watch the movie. This is an ambitious title on the PlayStation 1, and it has some beautiful animation voiced by the original actors from the movie. That's your incentive for winning the game, to unlock all of the animated clips that tell the storyline. Which isn't as exciting as the original plotline from the movie or anything, but it's still worth playing especially for fans of the series who just can't get enough of the Ghost in the Shell anime. On the surface, it looks like Ghost in the Shell plays a lot like a modern first-person or third-person shooter. And that's true enough, but remember that the original PlayStation controller did not have two analog thumbsticks, so you do not aim with your right thumb in this game. There's no controls for that. Like Doom, it'll lock onto enemies above you or below you automatically. What you have to worry about is moving your Fuchikoma around the screen and then sliding left or right using either the L1 and R1 buttons, or square and zero. After every several levels, you unlock new animation clips like this. Hmm, so they want to liberate us, huh? Real terrorists. This was not an amateur stunt. It's a big mission. I'm sure it's a trap. I've just got a feeling. Oh, look, see what I have. Uh huh? The new rookies gave me all these funny little stickers. Fuchikoma, just do your job and help the rookie. She's so sexy when she's angry. In this game, you play as a rookie piloting a Fuchikoma. Not to be confused with a Tachikoma from Ghost in the Shell. Standalone complex. Completely different vehicles doing more or less the exact same thing. The game itself isn't that long, but there's a variety of missions, and you're being scored which gives the game quite a bit of replay value as you try to start at the beginning and work your way through without watching your Fuchikoma explode with your rookie inside. Section 9 would be so disappointed in you. One of the features that makes this game cool is that walls mean nothing to this thing. It's like the Spider-Man of all-terrain Japanese armored fighting vehicles. At the end of each level, there's boss battles, which all play very similarly. You slide around to avoid damage and hammer it with everything you've got. It's obvious in some of the open world scenes like this one that the game is graphically dated, but it still plays responsibly, and packs some big challenge if you'd like to make it through the whole thing in one go. Each time you play a level, you can go back and play that level again. There's 12 levels total. Back in college, we actually got stuck on level 12, and then I think we got distracted by Final Fantasy VII, and it actually never completed the game. There's a jumping part at the end that's really annoying, which I am proud to say that I beat while actually recording for this review. So, to my old roommate, Christian, I beat the game! I did what we couldn't do back then! But then the game just kind of ends. It's like, oh, really? I wanted to see Bateau and Kusanagi get together, finally, after all this time. He seems to need it. In addition to the storyline, there's a bunch of training missions, which are also uh, quite challenging and unlock their own animation clips. On the whole, it's a pretty big game for an affordable price these days. PlayStation 1 release, which means it works on the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 3. But forks and turns everywhere. What about you can easily find Ghost in the Shell on eBay, and I would definitely recommend watching the movie 
which was re-released on Blu-ray in 2008 in an updated version. Also read the giant comic book. This is published by THQ and the overall production value and music is excellent, especially considering that it was released in 1997. It makes for a fun action game whether or not you're a fan of Ghost in the Shell, but I think you'll enjoy it the most if you are. It's Ghost in the Shell for the PlayStation 1. Now, Bateau, have you ever tried just giving her flowers? Maybe a box of chocolates or an assault rifle? Identified. Turn command over to Bateau and return to base with Togasa at once. Roger. So did you hear that? Leave it to me. The Best of Classic Game Room is on DVD, Blu-ray, and Laser Hypervision album set.